Hello everyone, Everwonders here and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing part 2 of our Ask Effort. I got 10 questions from my friends on Facebook. So the first question is, which is better? To get married first before living together or living together first before marriage. As a Christian or if you are a Christian, you need to get married first before living together. But as for me, it's already 2020. Couple live together first before marriage. It's for them to know whether they are compatible with each other. Bagay ba silang duha? Maybe wala pa sila nag-inilhanay. Ay ano magawas ang nilahang true behavior pag maguba na sila. So they don't want to waste time basen ini magminyo na sila tapos hindi sila compatible with each other. Ay hala ni mo mabal ani mo hada yun minyo an is um bahog ilo di ka bulo malito. Kaya basen ay hala magawas ang tinuod ng personality sa mong partner. Yeah, di nakakahawa kay you are already um married okay so divide in your home vow the choice so that do us part ay hara pa din nabalay nang ihang pinuod nga batasan nga naguba na mo so once you get married dili na ka pwede nga ay dili yuli na lang din ako nimo kan magtehe dili man dili ka bala mo ng ang yuli na lang na kami mo ang anak ko kay ko an mga alas dos na gamata sa hapon okay so when you are planning to get married, be sure yeah, you will live with him or her forever. Okay, so next question. Na nakaigihilaten si King Samet. Okay, so yes, I've cried a lot already. Katong namatay ako ang mama. I can't bear the pain. Kung i-dili ko mahila ka to, basin nagkuan ko heart attack. Okay, so living without a mother is really lacking. Like your mother is your your best friend. Your mother is your motivator. Your your mother will always say that you are the most handsome guy on earth. That was the most painful day of my life. And when it comes to um, relationship, yes, I cried once. And that is my best friend actually. When we depart from each other without saying goodbye, because maybe uh, my friend think that if we will bid goodbye to each other, manghila kami nga. Okay, next question: How to forget? How to forget someone? It's never easy to forget someone you once cared for deeply, especially when this person gave you so much memory to remember. But there are people that we need to eliminate from our circle, that we need to eliminate from the food chain. In order for you to forget someone, is you need to accept what happened. Stop communicating with him or her. We cannot really force everything to be on our side. So, dapat lang nato dawatan kung unsa ang nakahita mo sa itong pinabuhi because um, dili na to control ang atong future. So, avoid things that inyong ginabuhat sa una, inyong ginabuhat before, and also avoid contacting him or her. Dapat dili na ka magsigipang stop pa sa iya. And also, avoid Yeah, kana mo na wala na ako siyang kalimutan. Okay, so stop that. Because the more you think about forgetting him or her, the more nga ma-remember niyo siya. The more nga matagaan niyo mag-visa ng imong kaugalingon na dili siya kalimutan. Okay, next question. If you could change one thing that happened, what would it be? Oh, um, this is really a hard question. But um, and my answer will be so impossible but if I could change something as of this moment I would like to transfer the location of the Philippines Gusto na ko siya i-transfer sa laing lugar nga walay bagyo, walay hilinog Okay so makagol ng guta naman especially now that our country is being devastated by a lot 
of typhoons but we have the as of now we have the Ulysses and a lot of people already are dead but I know that our government is doing their best to save our countrymen so it's a natural disaster we need to have our own initi initiative atong ibalik ng ato ang bayanihan system so tinabangay ta okay so and also, of course ayunin niyo biya ang inyo ang mga pets nga makahigot kung dili niyo kaya dalon sila at least buhiin na lang sila okay unleash their places tanggala ang ila ang mga kadila para mak makabuhi po sila Next, paano mo malalabanan ang katamaran kung tamad kang lumaman? You need to use positive instead of negative self-talk. It's only yourself who could motivate yourself. Like, I'm also guilty about this one. There's a lot of work, pero wala kay gibuhat kay tungod sa kadaghan. So, what you did is just procrastinate, procrastinate. Nagtanga na ka. You just sit there, scroll, scroll on your timeline. That is not a good um, habit. You need to talk to yourself. Okay, so yourself. <laughs> we need to do something. Okay, so you need to motivate your own self. Self murder. We still have to do something. You tell yourself that we trabaho na This is for your this is for your own good. This is for us to grow. Okay, so that's it. Okay, next question. Why did you come Thailand? When and why? Actually, my plan was to go to Thailand this year. However, because of this pandemic, it was postponed. And we just na wala na kung ako ang eagerness to go to Thailand. Okay, it's. The uncertainty going there, pero maybe soon. Okay, I already have my passport. Ko ano lang yun? At tunan lang yun taong ko lang. Pero God has better plan for me. Okay, so maybe soon. Okay, next question. Do you see yourself married in the next five years? I don't see myself being married. No. <laughs> Maybe I could be a good um, husband, but I can't be a good father. I can't provide their needs yet. Di pa ngayon ako ma-provide ang ako ang kaugali. Di nita po yung magsalita ng patapos. Pero as of this moment, if you will ask me in my um, status right now, I don't want to get married yet. Okay, so maybe sooner or later. And I will be 29 that time. Okay, how do we promote and protect human rights and dignity? All of us are entitled to have our own human rights. We are entitled to, to be at peace. We need to practice our human rights, our rights to live, our rights to it's our freedom of expression and everything. However, as a teacher, I always tell myself, I've learned this um, idea from my peace education teacher, Ma'am Vivian Sigumban. In order for us to um, practice our rights and dignity, it must always start within yourself. Okay, so as a teacher, I always see to it that I always um, promote tolerance and respect towards my students or to other people. When we say tolerance, it doesn't mean toleration of social injustice or abandonment or weakening one's conviction. It means accepting the fact that human beings are equally diverse on how they look, appear, behave. That's why we have our multiple intelligence, nga, diba? Okay, so maybe I'm a good singer but the others are not but they are good in dancing and i'm not good in dancing so all of us are unique all of us are created um diverse to have a better world we need to respect each other we need to respect each other's opinion we need to acknowledge we, we should not undermine the 
struggles of others. We need to listen. Okay, so that's it. Next question. Nana single pa ka? Nahaglo ka o kuya for commitment? Um, as what I have said in my previous vlog, I just I'm just fresh from breakup, so I always believe in three month rule. So na mga three months, so one month kami na bulag. I'm not scared of being in love. Love is the most wonderful thing in the world. Okay, so next. The last question. Who is your favorite character in Dynasty and why? And what did you learn from Dynasty? Um, Dynasty is a movie from Netflix and I even named my cats or my kittens the characters of Dynasty. My favorite character there was Fallon. She is an intelligent, driven woman, determined to make her own name for herself. The most important thing that I've learned from that movie is that confidence is sexy. Fallon is not scared of anything. She is showing that let's not be afraid of anything. She doesn't let her fears or opinion of others hold her back. really admire her character in the dynasty because I'm really shy back then, but now I always do what I want. I always grab the opportunity. I don't want any opportunity to let go of my hands. So that's it for this video. This has been Afro Wingers and thank you so much for watching. Happy 300 subscribers. For more videos, please don't forget to subscribe, to like, and push the notification bell so that you won't have to miss an episode.